Okay. Now uh, we we know this particular statement, right? It's a declaration come initialization statement. Now what does it say? Is that uh, array A has got a maximum dimension of five and it is holding five elements, right? Now sometimes what happens, right? Now you are initializing the elements of an array. There is one important feature of uh, C, uh, particularly with respect to arrays, is whenever the programmer is making an attempt to initialize the elements of an array, it allows you to skip the dimension, right? So what I can do is I can skip the dimension like this. So during the initialization time, I can skip the dimension. Now what happens is, right? When you are initializing the elements of an array during its declaration, right? C automatically substitutes the dimension here. Right? Now you may say what is so great about it. Now the greatness of this you will not understand when I am trying to have less number of elements in an array. Right? Now just imagine that I give you an 100 right? and as a pro, see I am a programmer no doubt about it but I am also a human being. Now if I give the dimension as 100 and I keep writing the elements in a pair of opening and closing curly braces separated by comma. Chances are there that I may land up writing 99 elements. Understand? Now when I am when I land up writing 99 elements, things are fine. But suppose if I make an attempt to print A of 99, now the million dollar question is what it will print. Because A of 99, as you know, is the hundredth element of an array. And I don't have hundred elements. Right? That's one thing. Second thing is, let us say I give 101 elements here. Right? Now, if I give 101 elements in the pair of opening and closing braces, I am not worried about A of 99. But then my question is, where is 101st element stored? Is it stored in some other area? In which case, how do I access it? Or my bad luck, is it stored on the top of any of this A of 0 to A of 99? So, very intelligent way of handling arrays is, if at all you are trying to initialize the elements of an array, the best methodology is, to skip the dimension because C allows the programmer to do it and it will substitute the dimension on its own. Okay? Now, having this fair knowledge about uh, arrays and its declaration and all, let us make an attempt to write a simple program which will find the average of 5 students in the class. Right? I repeat, let us make an attempt to write a C program to find the average marks of students in the class. Right? Now what I do is, I directly skip, uh, go to the body part of the program rather than the uh, declaration statement and all. Let us say, I have for i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Do you agree? For i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. And then I will say, scan f, right? Percentage d with appropriate syntax, I will say ampersand of marks of i. Watch out carefully, right? Now this is how I am going to enter the five elements of an array. Now let us see how does this five element, five, this particular statement works. What is the initial value of i? 0. So 0 less than 5, we have seen how for loop works in the previous topic. 0 less than 5 is true, condition is true, so it comes inside and whatever you enter will be stored in marks of 0 because i is 0. So let us say for example my marks of 0 is equal to 5. So I enter 5 that will be stored in marks of 0. Then the control comes here i plus plus becomes 1, 1 less than 5, true, when this control goes inside now whatever I am going to enter will be stored in marks of 1. Similarly 2. So let us say I enter marks of 1 as 6, marks of 2 as 7, marks of 3 as 8 and marks of 4 as 9. Now once I enter the marks of 4 as 9, right, now i is 4, then this control comes here, i plus plus becomes 5, 5 less than 5 condition is false and it comes out. So with this particular statement, I have the marks of all the 5 subjects, right. Now what I do is, the, the program is to find the average of all the marks, average of marks of 5 subjects or 5 marks. I can go for one more for loop and find out the sum of it and then go for the average. Instead of that what I will do is, I will have the average here itself. So what I will do is, right, or instead of that if you want to go for another for loop, 
let us go for another for loop i now say for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus right i will say sum is equal to sum plus marks of i semicolon of course i will be declaring sorry i will be initializing the value of variable sum as 0 right now watch out how does this work right what is the value of i i is 0 right i is 0 my sum is also 0 0 less than 5 control comes here sum is equal to sum plus that is 0 plus marks of i i is 0 so marks of 0 is 5 so 0 plus 5 sum becomes 5 then i plus plus makes i as 1 1 less than 5 sum is equal to sum plus marks of i so 5 plus marks of 1 that is 6 so 5 plus 6 it becomes 11 similarly it becomes 18 then it becomes 26 then it becomes 35 right so the final value of sum is 35 and then what i do is i just say average is equal to sum by 5 right now this average will make 35 by 5 as 7 of course you need to give the relevant data type for this particular average right now depending upon the data type either it will give you a value which is without decimal point or it will also give you a value with decimal point right so that is not so important the whole idea is this is how you land up reading the elements into an array with the help of your standard uh, input device that is your keyboard okay now just have a look at it okay now let us continue this let us continue the next topic in the next video okay thank you